Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I will react to the top 10 or rather another top 10 songs that will always make you smile. Um, yeah, the original one got 6.8 million views and this only this one only got 264,000 so it's a major downgrade for Art Mojo so um, you know of course they're trying to you know do it again and hopefully they strive the same success but of course they don't. Uh, so there you go, you know, if it works, why, you know, if, you know, if it works, then why try to change it up, so there you go. Um, Shakira's a thumbnail, I'm not a huge fan of her, uh, it's the Waka Waka song, which I don't care for, you know, for the world championship and shit like that, so. Don't care for that song all that much, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't really care at all, you know, in either way, so. Yeah, let's just start the video. Um, songs that always make me smile, you know. Nothing on here though, because it has to be like popular and shit, so. Yeah, it, it's not gonna work out for me because, you know, um, it needs to be, you know, pandering and like generic to, to make this list, so. Nothing, probably nothing is gonna make, is gonna make it for me though, but uh, let's find out. I'm gonna adjust my camera in a bit. No. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another top 10 songs that will always make you smile. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at this song. Power, yeah, I guess. Legit. Oh, Earth and a Fire. Oh hell yeah. I mean, I do start off though with three good songs in a row: uh, Earth and a Fire. Cool in the gang and Bob Marley. Although, you know, I'm not a huge Bob Marley guy myself, but you know, three good artists back to back. That's pretty good, actually. Number 10, Three Little Birds, Bob Marley and the Whalers. Three good artists and, you know, in 30 seconds, so that's pretty good, actually. This laid back reggae beat is a great way to start your day or finish it off with a smile. Legend has it that the song was inspired by Canary. I mean, it would be pretty sad if you if you would be the Wailers because then you know you're associated with Bob Marley, but you're not never gonna get the love that Bob Marley gets because Bob Marley is like the thing. He is the main thing, but you're the backing band. But oh, Bob Marley and the Wailers, you know, as in they don't get the recognition, but they're there though. But there you go. I do like this riff though. This fucking fake guard, oh Jesus. Like, how can you even record like that? Only if it stands still. Well, I mean, this show, this show without the ending though, so I'm giving that kudos for that. Okay, yeah, they're showing it, so there you go. This is a terrible title. Waka Waka. To be popular or something, I guess. It has everything you could want from a the lyrics are fuck all though. Afro-Colombian rhythm and a catchy beat. I mean, of course, everyone has watched it though. So there you go. felt like an African artist should have been chosen since Africa was hosting the event. Despite the song sure. Diversity, the song has experienced international success and continues to bring smiles to athletes and non-athletes alike. There wasn't one weird moment though where while saying like the Pepsi song or something. Um, you, know, the, you, know, the, you know, you know that song, and I was saying it's so so good for you know the people around me at least. You know, I was saying it in the bus or I was humming it, and um, you know, I believe it turned on the radio, and like one person was saying, "Hey, can you turn on the radio or something, or can you put it louder?" Oh no, it's not on. But then they discovered it was me. It was me, Dio. 
Uh, yeah, you know, they that was really fucking weird. That's like one of my childhood things, so there you go. I replicated it so good they thought it was the real deal, instead it was me. Do whatever what you will. Number eight, don't stop me now, queen. Use effects. Yeah, I address this in the original video too, because I've done a section right now, but you know, I've, I haven't really, um, you know, what's the thing? Uh, I lost all those clips because you know, I lost my footage because my computer broke, so I don't have those videos anymore. Uh, but I said in an original video that you know, everyone loves the song, maybe Freddie Mercury loves it as well, because you know, it's his uh, coming of age story, because you know, he came out of the closet and guys came a lot in him. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, but Brian May obviously hated it, or obviously he hated the song because um, he was kind of afraid of Freddie, you know, catching AIDS and die and shit like that. And, you know, Freddie uh, exposing himself in such a public manner. So Brian May was afraid. And eventually he did, uh, you know, met his, uh, or, you know, he fell to his demise. So there you go. Yeah. You're happy just singing along. This is partly because the lyrics always flow seamlessly with the music. Actually, uh, Bonners sent a fucking mashup to me today with this song and Mariah Carey's um, a fucking Christmas song. Uh, All I want for Christmas is you. You know, the song that gets played every year. So there you go. Don't stop me now is definitely no different. It's fast, upbeat, and with lyrics like a tiger defying the laws of gravity, this song will have that is a great lyric. Find the laws of gravity. For reasons that defy logic, it didn't receive immediate success in the U.S. and took some That is a really good time. lyric, actually. Now we can picture a road trip without it, or a night when you want to have yourself a real good time. Yes, a good time. I don't want to stop at all. Yeah, I mean, it's Queen. You gotta love it. Curtis Mayfield. Not to just bored the shit out of me. Number seven. Move on up. Curtis Mayfield. Yeah, exactly. Move on. I mean, even he wants to move on from this. Not to say it's bad though, but it's just fucking boring. Yeah, exactly. Move on up to the next one. That was a pretty, pretty interesting falsetto right there, I'm not gonna lie. The song has been influential in soul music and beyond, so it made sense when Kanye West used a sample of the iconic song in his 2006 single, Touch the Sky. Detailing his rise to fame, Kanye's I think it sounds better. Um, I think it's the same thing as, um, you know, what's his, what's his name? Or a fucking... Lauren Hill, you know, she had that unplugged performance, which is just terrible. Um, and she had that one moment, uh, I believe it was called All Falls Down. Um, and she had that. Uh, do, 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 do. All Falls Down. Girlie, do, do. You know, <laughs> like what was she saying? Chlamydia or something? Chlamydia. You, you know, that shit. That's a good part. That's pretty much like the best part of the fucking performance. And Kanye West. Kanye West sampled that part, that part of the album. So he pretty much, he pretty much took out the only thing good about the album. So you don't have to listen to that fucking unplugged album anymore. You can just listen to Kanye West. But you know, um, not everyone is a fan of that. So you know, I get that. But it's pretty good, I think. It's 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 an alright song. Number six, you can call me out, Paul Simon. A man walks down the street. Like Paul, like there's probably a case out there that uh, you know Paul Simon got like addressed, and you know, people watch the music video, and he's like, oh, I love that music video with you and Garfunkel, where you know he's mentioning the fucking or he or she is mentioning the you can call me all music video. And people think, you know, that's fucking uh, Garfunkel, although it's like a complete random bloke, I think, so. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah. You know, that has to have happened, though. I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm making that up. But that has to have happened to him once, though. That people are walking up to him. Oh, I love you with Garfunkel and that Call Me Out music video. 
and he just walks off. The title and chorus of the song was born out of funny and I mean, Paul's a great songwriter though, but it's, conductor, it's, Boulet, like, it's not a very good song though, I would say. By the names of Al and Betty. We've all had those moments, but like Bob It's a pretty Bob funny music video though. Happy little accident. And created this gem of a song. That is kind of a questionable vocal right there, but I'll take it. It's all about finding yourself in the world. Something that definitely needs some musical inspiration. Oh, uh, Michael Jackson, of course. Um, Ken, I have a title. Stop till you get enough. Yeah. The ad is blocking the whole fucking thing, though. Jesus Christ. You sing. There are so many great Michael Jackson songs to choose from, but ultimately we went with Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. This is a good one though, I do really like the Off The Wall album. I think it's easily the album that has aged the best for me at least. Or maybe Thriller. Obviously. Michael's first solo record under Epic Records. It marked his first solo Grammy and American Music Award. And it also presented his signature vocal, Hiccup. It started Michael's solo career on a high note. I mean, he already had a career before that, but sure. The song is pure electricity, and it's but they mean as in his actual solo adult career. Makes sense. I need you for this one. Oh, what is this? This is like, I believe, a folk artist. Before, Sweet Caroline, Neil Diamond. No. He doesn't even have a guitar on stage, like, fuck all. I'm a folk artist, but I don't have a guitar. Sure. Ever since its release in 1969, the song has developed its own unique history. And... Judging hands. Originally, Diamond stated it was written for JFK's daughter, Caroline Kennedy. However, he later admitted that he was writing it for his wife, Marsha. Sweet Marsha just doesn't flow the same. It developed a strong significance for the people of Boston, as it has been played at every Boston Red Sox home game since 2002. Need to hear everybody sing it. In 2013, Diamond announced that he would donate the royalties to help victims of the Boston Marathon bombing. This wholesome history only improves the smile factor of this song. Good times really never looked so good. So good. Oh yeah, the cool in the gang song. I mean, nothing makes me laugh though, but this is a pretty good song. I do like the Earth, Wind & Fire song a bit more though, but this is still pretty good. And great South Park episode, so there you go. When this little number starts to play, your body moves with a will of its own. Celebration was written with help from all nine members of the gang. With so many talented artists coming together, it's no wonder that this has experienced international success. A staple for parties and weddings, it guarantees that everyone will come to the dance floor and have a good time. You don't even need a reason to put on this baby. If you're feeling good, throw on this track and celebrate. Oh yeah, exactly after that, so there you go. Two, September, Earth, Wind and Fire. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the terminal for sure. If it don't have to put a guy in the terminal though, that's fucking four out, man. But I mean that fucking acid, uh, that acid effect that they have in the music video, fucking great. I mean, where's Marja finally got my attention at the fucking 8 minute mark, but there you go. It is the very groove of the song, the seamless flow of the lyrics, and White's peppy tenor that makes it such a joy to listen to. Perfect way to chase the clouds away. Or inhale the clouds, if you know what I mean. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few uh, what is this? Send me on my way, by Russell Ruth. Get the. F Send me on my way. It's a beautiful day by Michael Bublé. Not a terrible song, but pretty lackluster. You know, pretty lackluster songs. So there you go. Nine in the afternoon by uh, Panic. Fucking. No. It's 
not that bad to be honest, but I'm just not a fan of this band. Or of, uh, of that... How's he called again? That fucking gotta collaborate with Taylor Swift on that me song. Uh, I forgot his name, but you know the guy, uh, Brandon Yuri, there you go. That bloke. My whole screen just fucking turned green. I mean, I hate this fucking song. The colonel's are fucking shoes, man, disgusting. Oh well, he, he's the he listened to me. So there you go. Fish aside, this was the first acapella song to take the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Even knocked out Guns N' Roses' "Sweet Child of Mine" in the process. Uh, I mean, the boat shit. So there you go. The mantra of "Don't worry, be happy" was actually inspired by Meher Baba, a spiritual master, who would repeat this message to his followers. So don't worry. Fucking die off. Why does he have a limousine in his fucking living room? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, all his bloke friends, man. Like, this is the definition of a guy that literally just won the lottery and just spent like crazy amounts of money on mansions and limousines and like fake friends and shit like that. So, you, you fucking know, you know, that he just won the lottery or some shit, because everything that is happening is fucking bullshit. And the song is shit as well, so there you go. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe. I mean, that number one pick just pisses me off, man, if anything, so. Every day. There you go. Uh, that was the video, pretty lackluster. Um, we can watch the comments for a bit, I guess. Uh, Earth, Wind & Fire better be here with some cringy emojis. Thank God. Hear fantasy from them. It's it's a good song as well. Not it's it's a good song, but it's a good song. It's a good song as well. Hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't expect that someone who wanted Earth, Wind & Fire to be on there and it's a good song. Wouldn't have guessed that. Queens Don't Stop Me Now came on the best scene in Shaun of the Dead. I don't... what? What is that movie? That's like a really bad movie, I believe. Shakira is old. Um, eh, you know, um, Shakira is one of those girls that, you know, she is a good looking girl. But I wouldn't really call her hot, per se. At least in my opinion, because, you know, I have... Um, you know, difficult taste, I guess. More critical taste, in a way. And I think Shakira is just kind of passe or, you know, kind of bland in a way. She's just like a nice doll to look at, but she's not necessarily like hot, I think. You know, hot as in being also cute, maybe having a character and being, you know, not good looking as well. If you have like a character and the looks, then you're hot to me. If you have the whole package in a way. But if, but if you're like Shakira, you're just like a nice dress-up doll for me, so that's what I think. Call me a sexist either way, I don't give a shit, that's my opinion. Um, you know, she is, she is good, but I wouldn't call her hot per se, but you know, everyone would disagree because Shakira is beautiful and oh, you're blind. I'm not blind, I can see Shakira, she's good, but eh, you know, it's not my thing. That's, you know, it's of course... Uh, Subjective, so there you go. I'm the only one that's uh, that small one. I mean, you're a fucking panic fan. I cannot fucking read this retarded comment. My English is so bad. Yeah, I, I fucking read it. I'm the only one that, that small one see a panic at the disco song. It's a fucking question. If it is a question, it should be, am I the only one that smiles when I see a panic at the disco song? And you didn't even like put a cap, you know, on the fucking, on the band name, which, you know, that's appropriate, but you didn't do that as well, but, I mean, at least you admit your, your grammar is dog shit, so there you go. I mean, these fans can spell as well, so, so you're not the only one, but you're probably the only one. Your, you know, there you go, because uh, most fans of Panic is emo, not are emo, but is emo. 
and school shooter and our school shooters there you go joking cringy emojis i mean these words mojo comments are really fucking trash right now give me some good shit yeah 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 i did already read it though because uh, i see some likes no ymca exactly mr blue sky always make me smile yeah pretty much uh, don't get me wrong, Sweet Caroline is a great song, but whoever comes on, everyone just kind of stares at me and I get a little uncomfortable. Uh, Sweet Caroline, what, what the fuck is that song? You are salty, Caroline. Not, not really, he's just stating his opinion, but sure. Waka waka and don't stop till you get enough make me smile. What is don't stop till you get enough again? Oh, the, the fucking Michael Jackson song. I already forgot it. Um, Blue Suede who kind of hooked on a feeling, bad song. Marvin Gaye, Ain't No, Mind, Not, Ain't no Mountain High Enough, Boring. Bill Withers, Lovely Day, I don't know that. Uh, oh yeah, there's beautiful tunes, few of them I didn't know. I mostly agreed, uh, I mostly agreed of all those. Nice grammar, thanks, and watch Mojo Harder, of course. FIFA songs are the best. Not really, they're, they're pretty much just like uh, Shakira, just really generic and really, yeah, just pretty pass passe. Waving Flag Knaan, World Cup 2010, best song ever. Uh, wait, was that a song that I just uh, sang? That, uh, that Pepsi commercial tune? Um, I'm kind of in doubt right now, but I'm gonna like it either way. Uh, I think it is though, I think it is. It was kind of sad though that South Africa like was out before like the, the final started or the, the semi-finals, quarter-finals. I, I believe they were they were out like easily and shit, so there you go. I expected I Feel Good from James Brown. I believe it was on the original, but I kind of cringe at the song. Raining Blood by Slayer for me, nice. <clears throat> Fucking Slayer, bro. Um, boyfriend, would you agree with you? My boyfriend would agree with you. Oh, that's a fucking gay boy. Fucking hell. I was like, this is not a girl. Girls are not on the internet and it's a boy. So, he is gay. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, that's the thing. No, nah, man, Angel of Death always makes me so happy when I hear it. Warren Symbol, Cir Circa Ar Iraq War Days. Okay, no one was asking that for sure. I honestly would have included Yellow by Coldplay. The song never fails to make me feel better. Um, yeah, of course, like some basic bitch with like some white filter behind her. So, of course, she loves Coldplay. Um, always look at the bright side of life. Uh, okay, kind of a generic sentence right there for sure. The one song that makes me smile is National Anthem of USSR. I do love back in the USSR though, the Beatles. The terminal was Waka Waka and I was instantly in. The terminal was Waka Waka. I did not know that. Thanks for stating that, dipshit. Uh, but yeah, that was the video. I don't really have a lot to add here, so there you go. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you're free to like one. Let me know what you t think about this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.